Welcome back to the chicken pen. Today we're going to have a look at molting. Chickens losing their feathers and replacing them with brand new feathers. So don't panic, come and join me and I'll show you it's nothing to worry about. Hello, my name's Fiona. It's early November here in the UK and our chickens are molting. That means that they're losing all of their old feathers and growing brand new feathers. If you're a first time chicken keeper, it can be quite terrifying watching your chickens virtually become bald. But don't panic, it is a natural process and today I'm going to talk you through some hints and tricks to help you. But first of all, let me just do a little bit of explanation as to why it happens. Now chickens at this time of year will have normally raised all of their chicks that they're going to. So those chicks will have fledged and left and gone off to form their own small flocks. They no longer need their feathers to keep those chicks warm but they do need new warm and waterproof feathers for winter so they'll drop the feathers which are no longer doing their job and they'll put brand new feathers back in their place. So let me show you exactly what it looks like so you know what you're looking for. This is Gannett and she started to molt around her neck. Every chicken molts slightly differently so they could lose the feathers in a gradual progression from head to tail or they could look moth-eaten and lose them in patches across their skin. The big fear for the first time chicken keeper is that your chickens have mites or lice but if your chicken is developing new feathers it's just molt. Let's have a closer look at Gannett's neck so you know how to identify new feathers. You should be able to see what looks like porcupine needles and these are what's called pin feathers. They are actually the hard shaft at the bottom of a feather and these emerge through the skin first. You should see some of them have ginger tufts emerging out of the end and this is the first sign of the new feather emerging out of the pin. Pin feathers are not only called pins because they look like them but also because they act like them. Any pressure on the emerging pin feathers can be very uncomfortable for your hen, so if possible, please don't pick them up during this time. I have been asked by a number of worried first-time owners about buying the chicken jackets that are becoming increasingly available. This is an attempt to keep the chickens warm. Please don't, as this will also place pressure on those pin feathers and potentially that could cause your hen pain. What can you do to keep your hens warm? In the main, absolutely nothing. Your chicken is adapted to deal with this and on cold days you may find that they stay inside and at night all of your hens will huddle together to keep warm. In severe weather though, let's look at three top tips to give them extra heat. So trick number one to keep your chickens warm during the malt process, and it's this. This is mixed corn. A mixed corn is actually wheat with split peas and some dried corn in there. Now corn has this wonderful side effect that it actually raises the body temperature for your chickens. So give a little bit of this late afternoon to your chickens and it'll help keep their body temperatures a little bit higher at night and keep them warmer. I think you can see that this is a very firm favourite with the chickens. As it's the corn which raises the body temperature of your hens, you could consider giving them sweet corn. We give corn cobs straight from our vegetable patch to the hens. What we do is we hang them up and you can see them here pecking at it. The corn cob swings around and it has the added advantage that it keeps them entertained. They do love having the corn cobs this way.
Trick number two for keeping your chickens warm during molt is to use old hot water bottles. Now, even if they have covers on them like this one, make sure that you actually still wrap them in something like an old towel, which is what I do. And this doesn't go where your chickens normally sleep. It goes right beside where they normally sleep. So if you can find out where in the coop they like to be, just pop this beside them. Once it's wrapped in this old towel, it should provide enough heat to act like a little radiator just to boost the temperature in the coop overnight. Tip number three for keeping your chickens warm during the molt period is to add something a little bit more permanent in terms of a heat source into your chicken coop. If you can add some electricity, either through a permanent electricity supply or by sending an outdoor extension lead to the coop, you could add either a heat lamp or a brood plate. Now, both of these are used to keep young chicks warm that are actually hatched in incubators and don't have a brood hen. This is our brood plate and it's made by Titan and it's got this fantastic advantage in that the legs are adjustable. Now if we're going to add this to the coop during the malt period we would have one side on the minimum setting and one side on the maximum setting which means we can actually set it on an angle. Chicks and young chickens can actually get under this brood plate no problem at all but full-size hens haven't got a hope. By putting it on this angle though they have a very good chance of getting quite close to the heat source so this is a good solution. I hope you found that content useful. If you have just take a moment to give me a thumbs up below. If there's any questions that you have or if there's anything else you'd like me to cover in a future video just leave me a comment below and I'll see what I can do for you. And do come back and join us next time and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications icon to hear of any new videos before they're published. We'll see you next time.